Hello everyone! Once again, it's me, Teacher Koy of Easy Math Tutorial, and welcome to my channel. And for today's video, pag-usapan po natin ang last module ng ating quarter 3, okay? Module 8 ng ating quarter 3, grade 8 mathematics, which is, the topic is applications of triangle congruence. Pero bago po lahat, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you'll be updated on my videos. Okay, so let's proceed. Our learning competency, we have here applies triangle congruence to construct perpendicular lines and angle bisectors. And our, and our objectives at the end of the lesson, we're expected to apply triangle congruence to geometric constructions of perpendicular lines and angle bisectors and apply the concept of triangle congruence in real life. Okay, so for our lesson one, we have application of triangle congruence. And we're going to talk the isosceles triangle. So, ano po ba tong isosceles triangle? So, based on the definition, isosceles triangle, if two of its sides are congruent, kung meron daw dalawang side na isang triangle na congruent, then the congruent sides are its legs. Yang dalawang congruent side ay legs ng triangle na yan. And the third side is the base. Yung third side ay kanyang base. The angles opposite to the congruent sides are the base angles. Yung opposite na angles at yung dalawang congruent side, sila pa yung base angles. And the angle included by the legs is called vertex angle. So ano pa bang ano po bang itsura ng isosceles triangle? So we have here the drawing. Okay, so this is an isosceles triangle. This side, side AC and side BC are congruent. So, ibig sabihin, ito pa sila yung legs ng ating isosceles triangle. Tapos, yung opposite na angle sa dalawang sides sa congruent, yung opposite angle ni AC ay dito, di ba? This one. At saka si BC, opposite angle niya ay this one. So, ito po yung tinatawag natin na base angles. Di ba? Base angles. Kasi, yung third side hindi congruent, si, angle, si side AB, siya po yung base Okay, tapos yung opposite angle ng base, this one, this is our vertex angle. Okay, so I hope nag-get po yung ibig natin sabihin. Okay, so consider triangle HAM with AH is congruent to AM. So ito po, HAM, AH is congruent to AM. And angle H, this one, is congruent to angle M. Based on the given figure, angle H and angle M, are congruent, diba? Since they are the base angles of isosceles triangle, triangle HAM, where the legs are congruent, side AH and side AM. Okay. Suppose an angle bisector, the AO, is drawn from vertex A. This one, vertex A. Drawn, intersecting side HM. Side HM is one. So this one, AO, intersecting side HM. Bisector, angle bisector. So, ibig sabihin, hinati niya si angle A into two equal angles. Diba? So, therefore, mayroon dalawang triangle na nabuo. Diba? We have, tri we have triangle H, H, A, O and triangle M, A, O. And, this one, this small angle is congruent to the small angle of the side, of, of this triangle. Diba? Kasi hinati niya si angle A into two equal angles, di ba? Kasi angle by sector si AO. So, thus, it follows the isosceles triangle theorem which states that if two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite these sides are also congruent. Okay. So, let's proceed. We have your lesson number two. Application of triangle congruence and this time, converse of isosceles triangle. So, ano pa ba tong converse of isosceles triangle? So, converse of the triangle, but triangle theorem or converse of the isosceles triangle theorem, if two angles of a triangle are congruent, then the sides opposite those angles are also congruent. Diba kanina sa isosceles triangle, two sides are congruent. Tapos yung opposite angle ng dalawang side na congruent ay also congruent. Sa converse of isosceles triangle, kung merong dalawang angles na congruent, Yung opposite side ng dalawang angles na yan ay also congruent. So, yan po yung converse of isosceles triangle. So, we have here illustration. Prove that an equiangular triangle ABC is also equilateral. This one. Okay. So, this triangle ABC. 
So statement, angle A and angle C are congruent. Angle A and angle C are congruent. That's the definition of equiangular triangle. Diba? Then side AB and side BC, so on AB and side BC are congruent. Diba? Converse of isosceles triangle theorem. Kung si, side, kung si angle A at si angle C ay congruent, so therefore opposite of that angles, yung opposite side, yung kanilang opposite side ay congruent also. So that's the converse of the isosceles triangle theorem. And then angle A and angle B are congruent. That's the definition of equiangle triangle. Then side AC and side BC are congruent. Diba? Converse of the isosceles triangle theorem. Kasi pag mayroon dalawang angles na congruent, yung kanila opposite side sa angles na yan ay also congruent. So therefore, AB is congruent to BC and is congruent to AC. So that is the trans transitive property. Then, we can now prove that triangle ABC is equilateral. So definition of an equilateral, equilateral or equiangular triangle. Okay, so yung tatlong angles, in triangles are congruent. Okay, so next, we have here lesson number three. Still application of triangle congruence. But this time, geometric construction of perpendicular and angle bisector. So, ano po ba itong natin natin perpendicular at saka angle bisector? So, we have here the theorem. The bisector of the vertex angle of an SS triangle is perpendicular to the base and its midpoint. So, sabi ko nga kanina, yung angle bisector, kung makahin natin niya yung isang malaking angle into two equal Angle. Tapos yung perpendicular, so ibig sabihin, 90 degrees. Diba? 90 degrees. Okay? So, we have here the illustration. Okay, so this is an isosceles triangle. Side AC and side BC are congruent. Diba? Ito po sila yung ating legs of this isosceles triangle. And side AB is the base. Tapos ito, this one, yung broken line, diba? From vertex C. Down to here, okay, perpendicular to side AB, ibig sabihin 90 degrees, di ba? Ito po yung angle by sector po natin. So, it means, si angle C ay hinati niya into two equal angles. Maliit na angles. Equal sila. Since this is the angle by sector, tapos nag-intersect siya doon kay side AB at point D, then point D is our midpoint. Di ba? Hinati niya si side AB into two equal parts. Merong AD at saka merong D, B or B, D. And the measurement of AD is equal to the measurement of B, D. Diba? Congruent kasi midpoint C, D. Okay. So that's it. So let's review some concepts. So let us recall the definition of the following terms used in the theorem. By sector is a segment, a line, a segment or ray or plane that intersects the segment at its midpoint. So, midpoint. So, kumbaga, nasa gitna. In an angle, a ray that divides the angle into two congruent adjacent angles. So, si bisector, hinati niya si isang angle, malaking angle, into two equal angles, yung maliit na angles. Then, perpendicular, when two lines or segments intersect to form a right triangle or a right angle. Right angle. So, dalawang line na nag-intersect tapos nag-form ng right angle. So, it means they are perpendicular. The midpoint is the point that divides a segment into two congruent segment, segments. Diba? Yung example natin kanina. Diba? Si A, D. Uh, A, B. So, midpoint si D. So, therefore, hinati niya si A, B into two equal parts. A, D, and B, D. So, A, D is congruent to B, D. So, I hope na gets po yung ibig nating sabihin. So, that's it for our Module 8 in Grade 8 Mathematics. And once again, this is my teacher, Koy of Easy Pan Tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.